Good Sunday morning. I'm J.B. Hawkins. I'm Amber Hawkins. And we're bringing you this uh, program this morning with uh, hearts that are full of joy. And uh, we're, we're th almost, see, we tape delays, so we're three days before Christmas right now. Right. So uh, as, as our youngest one says, he's in a tizzy right now. And, uh, you know, it, it's just really wonderful. It is special. Uh, I know you're into your new year. I pray that mm -hmm. uh, you've made some great goals and great commitments and that you uh, continue on with them all year long. Don't make anything that you cannot uh, keep. keep yeah, it. don't. Keep it attainable. Yeah, keep it real. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're so glad uh, as we start this, uh, this will be... I think the third week of January, which we're into 2014. Uh, a few quick announcements this morning, uh, other than to say hello to all you that are part of our life. Yeah. And uh, Patricia, we know you're watching, and Jim and Barbara Fur and John mm -hmm. Xline, Mary, I know you're probably watching, and Miss Houston. And, you know, I've talked to so many people recently uh, that watch the program, and we're glad that you tuned in. We, yes, uh, If you're in Iredale County, you're seeing this, pick the phone up and tell us, uh, you know, hey, we see your program, or or you can, uh, uh, there's a address on there. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page, J.B. Hawkins. I have uh, today's word on there. Every morning I post today's word, and it's always an encouraging, inspiring word. Uh, you can send us a message through that. Our website's on there. You can contact Amber through the website. There's there's ways you can get to us. So if you're watching Statesville, uh, Lake Norman, um, Mooresville, if you're watching in Iredale County, let us know you're seeing it. We would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, God has really blessed that and opened that door for yes, us. He has. And uh, we have uh, quick announcements. We have uh, books on Amazon. Amber has authored some books and put them on Amazon. Uh, there's some great teachings, some great ministry books. She's going to uh, really ramp up, I think, in 2014 oh, and have yeah. more uh, on there. She's really been working hard at that. Uh, I gave you our website. Uh, and, of course, you that watch us in Rowan, Cabrera, Stanley, uh, we appreciate you. Good saying, huh? Well, I'm trying to get started this morning. It's, it's, uh, uh. it's let's see, this is the Sunday, if you remember back, about a month ago, it was 73, uh, and it was raining, and it's Sunday morning, and you're kind of sitting there going, oh, this is kind of a wonderland for uh, the for December the, let's see, this would be the 22nd. Uh, it's great weather, and I pray that it uh, continues to come back to us, but you, even as we, you know, begin this program and share, I'm just sitting thinking, you know, what a beautiful day it is, and, and we should be shooting TV outside in the middle of December. I remember when I first brought Amber over here, I came, I came, I came uh, over here in 93 and part of 94 by myself as a traveling evangelist through this area and ministered in a host of churches, Mooresville, Concord, uh, Salisbury, Kannapolis, China Grove, I mean, uh, Charlotte, uh, a host of churches, uh, Cherry, Cherry, uh, Cherry Grove? Cherry no, Hill. Cherryville. Cherry Cherryville. Hill. Gastonia. Uh, just, I mean, a bunch of them through this area, and I just always found great success. Well, when I was here one December, and I guess that would have been the uh, 93, the end of 93, and it was pleasant like it is now, just super nice and, uh, you know, just, I mean, you didn't need a jacket, you didn't need a sweater, it was like... So he told me when I packed, you don't, you don't need a coat. So when I met Amber in like, June sure? of 1994, I said, look, we're headed over to uh, 
uh, Salisbury, North Carolina to hold a revival. I, 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 she said, well, how do I need, what kind of clothes do I need to bring? I said, oh, you don't have to worry about mm-hmm. it. You know, we were headed over here. This was in... This uh, area is very unpredictable. There's yes. no one set thing. Every year is different. Yes, it is. You I don't said, know what you're going to get. I said, well, you don't need to pack anything. Just something light. And we got over here and it was like 15 degrees at night and 40 during the day. You know the drill. And uh, she was like, you told me this. And I said, well, I didn't know, but I do know now. Very grateful to... Uh, be in this area. Those that are a part of our life, we love you so much. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your life. It means yes, it means a lot. To it us. does. I say it a lot, but you could be doing anything that you wanted to do, and you chose to sit here and watch us. So yes. that means a lot to us. We take that very seriously. Well, and, we and take that responsibility very seriously. I really feel like 2014. Like I said, uh, we're we're. Uh, if you have the opportunity for us to come to your church and minister, we share the word of God. Amber sings. I really feel like there's going to be some doors open to us. We'd love to come and share. We share about outreach. Our outreach ministry is blessed. We feed about 75 to 100 people every week. We have this outreach TV program uh, that we do every Sunday, and it is so blessed, and there's so many people getting ministry. I, as I shared with my oldest son the other day, and I shared with you, you have to follow what God anoints and blesses. Yeah, you do. And God has really anointed and blessed this. We've been on the TV uh, programs and networks for the last 15 years plus. Uh, We've done the outreach ministry for the last 15 years plus. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of uh, food and and clothing items and household items. And it's just really amazing. Well, we're always... um you know that's what we do and you know how it is when you do something consistently you just don't think about it anymore and we're always shocked when somebody comes up to us and says you know back in 1998 you all yes there was uh, a gave me a crock pot you know and they'll go on about what we did and how we helped them and we 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 may not even remember but god is a great score he is a great scorekeeper you keep that in mind too as you go about 2014 But I remember a gentleman that came up to me. We first started in Midway in 1995 in a condemned building down there. And I remember a gentleman that came up to me. It's been two or three years ago. And he said, you don't know who I am, do you, Reverend Hawkins? I said, no, sir, I I don't. He said, "Uh, you you and your wife ministered to me there in those apartment Mm -hmm. complexes. He said, I was down and out. Mm -hmm. I was hooked on whatever was the drug of choice at that time. I don't even know. But he said, and I was, and I lived for the, for for my beer. And he said, you all ministering there, and you all sharing the word of God when you saw me. He said it changed my life. And he said, he said he's in a position now in some sales, and he, his hair was trimmed, and he was dressed nice and driving a nice car. He said, and I tell you this, and you can take it to the bank. With God, nothing is impossible. You can pull yourself up. Mm-hmm. With the help of the Lord, you know there's an old saying, and I know you uh, older timers or old timers would have heard this. I heard it a lot when I was growing up. Grab a hold of your bootstraps, yeah. pull a, pull them up, and get mm-hmm. on with your journey with God. Because you know we 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 tend to, and I and I want to share, and it's it's neat to that came up because we just let the Holy Spirit. What you see with us yeah, is what do. you get. But you know we. <laughs> sometimes let our human nature oh yeah get in the way of circumstances situations Mm -hmm. uh sometimes they spin out of control because we apply our human nature to it but i was over the other day and i and this is if you have your bibles we're going to be in galatians chapter five but i want to share with you about a lady that i talked to the other day uh i was in her house and i i think i've shared with you all before but i I buy old items. Uh, I restore a lot of old items. That's how I subsidize my living. And, you know, you may have some old items you want to get rid of. I call the phone number there. But anyway, I was sitting there talking to her. And, of course, this is after the holidays and everything. And she said, the funniest thing that I saw during all my family getting together was the human nature that was in all of us. Well, all of us. But she said, you know, I being the elder statesman there, uh, she said, you know, I saw the human nature in the the young ones, the you know the the teen ones, the mid twenties. She said, I saw the human nature in all of them, and 
she said, JB, I, I found it hard to discern what became love, care, and an act. Yeah. And so I came home that day, Amber, and I, I had shared some, and I, I came home and I looked up and I said, well, you know, what, what, what is human nature, God? What is human nature? And human nature is your natural way. Mm -hmm. It is usually in your everyday life. It's your, and you know, you've heard people, Amber, say, oh, they're good natured. Right. Well, you, I, I think you're born with a, with a certain kind of nature and, and, you know, I look at my children and they're both two different kids night right. and day and one has one kind of nature, the other has another. I think you're born with, with innate nature, but I also think that, you know, there's nurture. Yes. There's nature, there's nurture. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's what your professionals say, but it's the truth. You know, you can figure 50 percent's temperament and 50 percent's what how we choose to act and what we choose to do and the choices that we make. Well, and the Bible clearly states and clarifies to us that, and I, and as I talk to her, we begin to talk about our sinful nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we begin to talk about God's nature in us. And she said, and, and you can't deny the Word of God, she said, we all have a sinful nature in us. Oh, yeah. And the Bible plainly says in verse 17, Gal or, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 17, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to, to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Right. She said, you know, as we talked, uh, she has been a Christian since she was a little girl. She said, I have seen the nature of man change in my lifetime. Oh, it's gotten worse, most definitely. She said, I have seen, I have seen fist fights in the back of a church. She said, I have, I have seen women that are, that are beaten and on Sunday morning wear their sunglasses in the church. She said, I have seen, uh, drunks fall out of their car and be in the church on Sunday morning. She said, "You know, our." She said, "I begin to to you know clarify what was what what is human nature, and what is my sinful nature, and what's God's nature in me." And you know, I've, I've been praying about this this week because it really is important to understand uh, the nature of where a person's coming from. Mm -hmm. Whether it be their human nature, whether it's the way they were raised in everyday living, you know, it's it's like I always tell you guys, and if you're first time viewers, I'm glad you're watching. I tell you, if 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 you're mean, be mean all the time. Why go to church and shake the preacher's hand? Go to the church and pop him upside the forehead and say, I don't feel like it today, shaking hands. I mean, if you're gonna be mean <laughs> Be it all the time. If you're going to be... He says I'm mean. That's no, I, Amber's me. not mean. Uh, if you're going to be rude, if you're going to be pushy, and, and if you're going to be nice, and, and, and most, that's where you get the good nature, mm -hmm. most people are nice all the time as a rule. Now, what happens, and this is what we were talking about, because she said, I saw, as we opened up Christmas presents on Christmas Eve, she said, I saw the true nature come out in people mm -hmm. and she said us older folks knew how to fake it yeah she said the the middle-aged people were uh, you know you could tell when they were interested when they were not because they would politely slide it back on the table mm -hmm. and the young kids sit there and go that ain't what I wanted and yeah. throw, it, throw it on the floor and you know she said uh, you know these degrees of the nature in us, because the well, Bible says, as we age, we begin to worry about what people think." Right. Well, I've I've so given up. <laughs> I've given up on that, guys. I I have learned, you know, and 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 you will experience things with people, and and you know that you that are in the job place say, "Hey, man, you know, you see," and and I'm going to touch on what the sinful nature is because. The Bible says that we have all sinned and come short right. of the glory of God. So, right. so that sinful nature is hanging around me, even as I share with you right now. It's hanging around Amber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's there hanging around you, your house. It's it it and, and here's what happens if you let it dominate you. Well, 
that's the ticket. The only way to kill the flesh, fleshly desires, is crucify it. That, there's no that's other what the way. Bible says. Don't feed it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stop feeding it. The more you feed it, the bigger it gets. And well, the next thing you know, your your sin nature is dominating you, rather than your well. She said, you know, I, she said, I'm sitting there. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, you know, in my late seventies, and you know, almost eighty, and I'm sitting there, and, and you know, she said I couldn't help but think a couple of times. Oh, I just wish I'd fall off a counter and break right there. They're not thankful for it at all. And she mm-hmm. said she'd catch herself and say, "That's not the right way to think," you know. And I'm not going to mention her name, but the the thing was, and Hazel and Don, if you're watching she was this morning, a hey, problem with. Ungrateful. Yeah, Hazel and Don, if you're watching Good Morning, Bruce and Britta, there's a lot of people I think of as I go on. But she, you know, she said that. So, you know, so so we have this fight to keep our... She, there's a war. There oh, is yeah. a war. I mean, the will of man is a very strong... Mm-hmm. We, we have, I mean, it is very... Human nature. Mm-hmm. It is how I was... Formed. Right. It is in my background. Mm-hmm. It is in my upbringing. I'm telling you, parents, we got to wake up. It's in our upbringing. It's in the words that we. It, it's 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 you know the Bible talks about winking at sin. You know mm-hmm. there are times when you have to confront that youngin, or that olden, or that mm-hmm. spouse. You know we, we we let things go unchecked. And it, it grows. It begins to get worse. Exactly. Well, that's what they say. Um, you know, you feed the monster, you can't cage the beast. It mm-hmm. gets to the point where you it's out of control. Mm-hmm. You can't. You see kids that are raised like that, that they get everything they want, and they know if they throw a fit that mom and dad will give in, and, you know, I mean... Well, there's some, there's some there's some things, and in, in, in you and I know, you know you got a 35 or a 40 year old that acts like a two year old. Well, so. there's some things just you and I know, and we've seen, uh, you know, well, they just won't be bringing the grandkids over, you know, That's and, exactly and, hold the grandkids hostage, and and, and the parent is crushed, or uh, you know, uh, so it, and we've shared with this, and it was on the program I uh, saw one of the programs we had done recently and the two cousins that were best of friends and and now they don't even talk to each other you know we have to guard now see it's okay for my human nature it's okay to live in my natural everyday living it's okay to live like that What's not okay is when I begin to let my sinful nature rule and reign rule and reign and take hold of me and here's what it says, uh, verse 19, and, and I think from time to time you should bookmark or read Galatians chapter 5. Yeah, Galatians I, is a good... I, I think it's really important because, uh, you know, Paul said, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these... And he said these are plain. These are manifest. They're plain. But I want you to, right. I want you to see a couple of them you might not catch if you weren't really in tune with the Spirit. Uh, adultery. Fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, which is evil thinking, mm-hmm. idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, jealousies. And we were just talking about that the other day, Hammer and I were. You know, boy, I tell you, man, people get jealous. They get jealous. They get hateful. Yeah, I don't want to see you doing good. They, they, it's really an issue that we have to, to, to war against and fight against. Uh, wrath, strife, divisions, and heresies. Verse 21, envying, murders, drunkenness, reviling, and such like. And, 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 and you know, he goes on to say, which I've told you now, and I'm going to remind you one more time. And I think if we're going to combat this sinful nature in us, we have to remind ourselves against these things. Because yeah, it is our nature when we're angry at somebody to think evil. It is our nature when, and, 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 and I give a perfect example, when Amber was waiting on Eric. Everywhere she turned, somebody was inviting her to a baby shower oh and, 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 and sticking new babies in. Hey, I want to hold this baby. And, you know, and, 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 and I. And made sure that. And, and there'd be, she'd go, and, you know, and, and you, you would admit to it, but she'd go and she'd be mad. Yeah. You know, 
Why, I'm a godly I woman. I see people come in and, and they just treated their kids. I mean, I, we saw one lady jerk her kid around so hard. He, he almost hit his head on the corner of a glass, and glass him, display. Yeah. yeah, I'd see him bring them in when they were sick and they had that creepy, you know, that chest creepy. Uh -huh. I mean, I remember you saying to one lady, he needs to be at the doctor, not out shopping with you. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, don't think she, you could hold that one in. It she sounded like he had pneumonia. I'm not uh -huh. exaggerating. Uh -huh. And I would just come home and I'd say, God, you know, I don't understand this, but I'm going to be honest with you. God ministered to me and gave me, he said, there are children that are born of the flesh, mm -hmm. children that are born of the will of man, and children that are born of the will of God. And the child that I'm bringing you is born of the will of God. Mm -hmm. and, and I never after that got angry. Yeah, yeah. I never, I mean, you know, God understood that I was, that, that I... You know, I was angry because I didn't feel like it was fair. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was unjust. I was doing all well, the right and what, things. Well, what you have to understand here, guys, is, and, and I'm glad you said it because what you have to understand, that was not Amber's natural human nature. No. That was that anger that would boil up into that sinful nature, and 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 y'all, I mean, you have to you have to relate to this guys at home because somewhere you'll be found mm -hmm. in those things I just read. You 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 you're born in sin. You have to fight sin every day. You know you can't. It's it's not. You know heaven's not a. Jesus said, man, it's, 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 it's very it's narrow, narrow yeah. and you have to fight the good fight, mm -hmm. and you have to really war, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it's, that was not her nature, and I don't want to, I was just using that as an example, that was uh, not her. I, I don't care. Well, I, mean, I know you don't, but I, I want to. watch us know that yeah, I want to walking do. around mad all the time and then getting on TV and going, hey, yeah. you know, what you see is what you get <laughs> yeah. with us, yeah. and we are very open about things that we've been through. But, but I just wanted to clarify, because it's, it, that is a great example I know she's not jealous. I know she'd give you the shirt off her back. But her, her, when, when you're the enemy was just rubbing it in. Well, but I mean, it yeah. was just pretty intense. When was, you're, when you're in, he certain, was making sure that I saw every yes. the most ungodly people in the world that having kids. And the, and I would have women that came in, and and shame on anybody that does this. I would have women that came in that would rub it in my face purposely because they knew I wanted a child yes and they were able to have something that I couldn't have yes that uh, well and, I, don't, and, I think they thought that I had some perfect life and uh -huh. now here's something that I have that you can't have right well and, and like I said that was not her nature but it was that sinful nature that she had to battle against and it and, and, and brought and, to the surface yes it, and when it says that it is a a war it's a war. When it says it is a battle, you're going to battle and you're going to fight the 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 the, the uh, you know uh, separating your human nature from your sinful nature, and then with about four minutes to go, you have to apply. Wow, that was quick. You have to apply God's nature. Mm -hmm. Everybody say God's nature at home. Now. I have to apply, and I and I would say that Amber. And be honest with God. I, I mean, about what you're going through, because I sat right, right back here in a chair that used to be back there, and I said, you know, God, I'm mad. I don't understand this. This is not fair to me. Mm -hmm. And He led me to Scripture that says that. I, I think it's in First John, if I'm not mistaken. There's scripture that says that, that there are children that are born of the will of man, mm -hmm. born of the will of flesh, and born of the will of God. Mm -hmm. And that the children of God are kids that are born of the will of God. Right, right. And, and that just, it just, it, it erased, I mean, it was gone. After that, there was no well, question. I knew my time was coming. And you applied God's nature at that point. And, mm -hmm. I, and I want you to, I want everybody at home to see uh, you know, 22 and 23, but God's nature, or the fruit of the Spirit, that's God's nature. Is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, mm -hmm. temperance. Against such there is no law. You can't be finger pointed at. You, you know you can't be. Uh, uh, you know you're you're walking in God's nature, right. and you're applying it to push down that sinful nature and to incorporate well, it. Crucify it, not push it yeah. down. Because if yeah. you just push it down, it's going to come back up. Well, we're going to read that in just a minute. It's good you said it. But but you're crucifying that sinful nature so that you can walk in your human nature. 
No, so you can walk in the Spirit of God. Yeah, but, but you, you want these fruits evident not only as God's nature in you, but that it would but be incorporated in part of you. Yes, it would be incorporated in your everyday living. Mm-hmm. And that's the hardest hump. That's the hardest hump to get over is to get God's nature past this sinful nature into my human nature that and every day I'm living. after you get over the hump, it's still going to be. Oh, Lord. You'll see it'll come up later on. You'll, you'll be like, you'll, I thought I dealt with that. I, I, yeah. I was out working out one day and, 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 you know, guys, if you don't say you have evil thoughts, God help you. But I'm standing out there and I'm working out one morning and I had this evil thought. And I thought, I thought, God, that's not you. That was my sinful mm-hmm. nature rising above it. You have to fight it. Verse 24 says, And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the passions and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Uh, prideful. Provoking one another. That's yes. what was getting... Prideful, prideful people. But I think it's worth taking a good look at. Yeah. I think it's worth talking about because because you don't want to feel guilty and and beat up on yourself. I mean, it's something that we all deal with. Yes, that's why I'm sharing with you guys this morning. You know, I you you have to be as a minister. I have to be honest with you and the things that that I battle against because uh, believe me, I'm not exempt either. She's not exempt either. We all, the Bible says, have this war, this this Mm -hmm. fight that we have going on. Encourage you to read. That part of Galatians five seventeen on, uh, you know, I I think you may find some areas in your life that you can identify with, mm-hmm. some areas in your life that you might be lacking, and God knows we all are. Uh, some areas that I can apply God's nature to help me overcome some of that sinful nature that that so much wants to rise up sometimes, and, and we all fight that. But uh, we've got about forty seconds. Go to Facebook, like me or like us, JB Hawkins, like yeah, me. JB Don't, and Amber Hawkins. Yeah, the today's words on there every morning. Uh, it's always well, an encouragement. There's a ministry page, and then there's our personal. Page. Yes, and the ministry page is on there. Uh, the prayer and information phone number is the same. If you have the opportunity to let us come minister, what you see here on the TV program what is is basically what we pray about and, and say, God, what do we share? It's always encouraging and inspiring. I'll tell you All that. Right. Uh, we love you. We pray that your week is blessed, and we look forward to seeing you next Sunday. We love you. Hi, this is J.B. Hawkins, and for Amber and myself, we appreciate you allowing us to come into your home this Sunday morning. We thank God for the opportunity to share our ministry with you, and pray you found a spark of inspiration through our program. As we were a part of your Sunday morning, now we ask you to be a part of our ministry by sowing a financial gift. The Bible plainly states, Give and it shall be given back to you. It is never the size of the gift. It is the act of obedience to give as God directs. We have a vision for a larger outreach center, but it takes obedient people to help bring it to pass. Please prayfully consider this and then be obedient to how God directs you. Again, thank you. May God bless. Until next Sunday, may Jesus be glorified in all you say and do.